People living in a small Durham County town are able to drink clean local water for the first time in decades. It was discovered back in the mid 80s that the groundwater in Rougemont were, was contaminated with petroleum. CBS North Carolina's Lauren Havlin was there as residents took the first sip from their new water supply. Karen Walker has lived in the small town of Rougemont for a decade and a half. We have not had drinkable water in most of this area due to the contamination issues. Back in 1985, leaks from pre-existing underground gasoline storage tanks caused petroleum contamination to the groundwater in downtown Rougemont. Since that time, many residents have been using bottled water or other well water. Just within the past few years, the North Carolina Department of Environmental Quality and Durham County officials have stepped in. But it's taken all of that time, eight years or so, for all of the various government officials to come up with a plan and then come up with the funding and then follow through. After ruling out the possibility of extensions from nearby water systems because of costs, a small, independent, well-fed water system was chosen to address the contamination issues. This project ha is a long time coming. To finally be at this point after at least 31 years, this is a, 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 a remarkable effort. The project, funded by both the county and state, cost $2.6 million. And now complete, residents and officials got their first taste of the water. This now will give Rougemont a chance to get some infill development and have a strong village core. In Rougemont, Lauren Havland, CBS, North Carolina.